I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Guys, roll call, please. Yes. <coughs> Chairman Williams. Here. Vice Chairwoman Kiefer. Here. Mr. Albrecht. Here. Mr. Demaria. Here. Mr. O'Hanley. Here. Mrs. Sieber. Here. Ms. Williams. Here. Ms. Doan. Mr. Lajji. Uh, Jadi. Here. Are there any additions and corrections to the agenda? Yes, sir. Please add under consent agenda uh, personnel, ratification of personnel, and under discussion agenda, finance and operations, fiscal year 2020 draft budget development calendar. Thank you very much, sir. Good job. There are no announcements and spotlights. Board committee reports. Are there any board committee reports? Um, Ms. Keeper. Uh, just a policy committee will be meeting next Tuesday, the 22nd at 6 p.m. Thank you. And Mr. Albrecht. Uh, thank you. From the Finance Committee, and really this, I'm going to speak for the Joint Finance Committee of the school and the City Council. We've probably had six or seven meetings over the course of the summer trying to get to a new three-year um, budget agreement. Most recent meeting, we meet again next Monday night at 6 p.m. here in City Hall. Uh, staff will be presenting a proposal made by the schools on a way to potentially get to it. I think the two things that we have reached some, if not unanimity to consensus on, is that the current agreement underfunds the schools, especially when you consider the enrollment changes we have and costs that are raised, that are rising disproportionate or higher than the inflation, whether that's health care, fuel, Virginia retirement system, et cetera. Um, the other thing I think we have all reached, and I'm pretty sure this one's unanimity on, is that deferring the new dean school is unacceptable. The cost of the delay because of construction cost increase, which greatly exceed inflation year over year, and the cost then to renovate dean so that it continues to have a serviceable life for five, six, seven more years, the cost to require trailers because we have capacity needs all those put together result in the total cost of the project far exceeding would be if we stuck to our original plan of 2020. So hopefully Monday night we'll be talking with uh, the Joint Committee and Council and trying to see if we've reached an agreement. Thank, Thank you. you. Next up, board member comments. Um, now, please forget this right, Mr. Okay. All right. No, is that only exactly right? Is that good? Al Jadi, got it next time. Mr. Al Jadi, welcome. Thank you. I just want to say I'm very thankful and honored to be a student representative for the upcoming school year. I hope to serve every student as best as I can and hope to make this year a great year for everyone. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good job for your first time. Okay. Next up, um, must be in alphabetical order, Mr. Albrecht. Wow, I just gave a long speech. <laughs> Give another one. No, it's okay. Um, I'll be leaving tomorrow for Chicago. I'll be with the Na National School Board Association Board of Directors uh, for the annual leadership conference. Really though, what I would say is that what I expect to talk about there, learn there is no different than what I've learned in my year being the DSBA president is that the challenges we all face, student achievement, funding, confidence in public schools, really are no different anywhere in this country. So. I hope to learn some things and success stories that I can bring back here. We can implement Manassas, so thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, next, Mr. DeMaria. Uh, thank you, sir. I don't have much. Um, there's a football scrimmage on uh, Thursday at 6 o'clock. Um, and back to what Mr. Albrecht talked about on our joint finance, um, we've had a fairly decent audience at all of these. I, I really appreciate the uh, support that comes from the community and uh, that meeting again is Monday at six o'clock on the second floor here if anybody wants to attend and show your support of the schools and the uh, appropriate funding that needs to come to the schools thank you sir thank you next uh, mrs. Williams 
Well, school is starting soon. I think we've got two more weeks. Um, Ms. Dahl J.D., I am very pleased to have you here. Welcome. I'm excited to get to know you throughout this next year, and especially this school year. We've got a lot to do. Um, I wanted to make a comment tonight. I'm, I, I, I'm hoping people will watch this later. Probably everybody's on vacation doing whatever they do cookouts, things like this, this time of year. But I, I wanted to express before school starts how important it is for everybody, our community, our teachers, um, our bus drivers to really keep an eye out on bullying. Um, I was walking my dog this morning and it made, I just happened to remember, um, not this past school year, but the school year before that, there was a ninth grader being bullied on the bus. And he was protecting another smaller child that was also a ninth grader. Um, and this bully just continued to not bully the smaller kid, but also him. And he never told his parents. He was, he, he was afraid to say anything. Um, and this kid continued to do it. It happened to be on the bus. Um, I, I, I guess what I really am trying to say, his mother didn't really know anything was going on until his behavior changed. And she drilled him, drilled him. He didn't want to say anything. Um, and I just find that uh, kids need to say something. Um, and I think it's important for all of our bus drivers, teachers, to try and recognize our children, what their behavior like is like in the beginning of the year. And if it changes, if they, if they become uh, quiet, and they're not normally quiet, to say something, please say something, because this is now a family who moved out of the city of Manassas for this purpose. He was so happy to be out of our school system. They moved far away. They, they, they're not even in Prince William County. They're, they're farther than Prince William County. And now they're absolutely happy. The child is back to normal. So I just want to make sure everybody is really conscious about how we all treat each other and then if we see something please say something uh, if something was said when it happened perhaps we could have dealt with it if the administrators had no idea what was going on and perhaps we could have dealt with it and that bully would not be here anymore and perhaps that good family would still be here so please again if you see something say something and that's all for my comments tonight thank you thank you um, miss seberg Thank you, Mr. Chair. I want to say welcome to Mr. Aljady. And I wanted to extend a warm welcome to all the staff members, um, the new staff members that have joined us and joined our Manassas City Public Schools family. And welcome back to our staff that is returning after um, some have had a summer off. Um, Ms. Stone will be joining us on the 28th, the meeting on the 28th. She's our other student representative. And I hope everybody has a great back to school. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. O'Hanlon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, welcome, Mr. LJD. Glad to have you as our new student rep. Good evening. I want to welcome all our new teachers, as Ms. Seberg just said, to the city of Manassas. Thank you for choosing us as your employer. We work very hard every day to make this the best place to work. For those of you just starting your teaching career, and maybe also for those starting a new year, as you look for inspiration to becoming a great teacher, Think about the teacher you had, who made a difference, who made you want to become a teacher. Next, look to our students, their young minds, so eager to learn. And for added inspiration, tell, turn to your fellow teachers, mentors, and administrators for guidance. And finally, be patient and kind. Be patient and kind to your students, to each other, and to the administrators many of whom are also new in their positions. And most importantly, be kind and patient with yourself. You can only be your best self if you take care of yourself. Have a great year. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next, um, Vice Chairman Keither. I'm, I too am gonna be brief, but uh, I was reflecting upon the, the upcoming school year um, and getting to know Dr. Newman you know, constantly working and, and, and learning from our cabinet principals and others. And we also had a, a school board retreat this summer. And I think one of the things that is abundantly clear in the dialogue that we're all having, um, that as we enter the new school year, I just want to continue, whether it's in budget conversations 
um, in terms of how we fund our schools, whether it's in our curriculum, um, whether it's in extracurriculars for kids, whatever the case may be, I think the mantra is uh, with this board and with, with our superintendent and the staff is that we got to keep the main thing the main thing, and that's our kids. Um, so we're going to continue to have that student-centric environment in everything we do. And so as we go into the new school year, can't wait to see where we all end up and continue moving upward. Thank you. Thank you. And I don't have any comments tonight, so um, we'll move on to citizen comments. Are there any citizens with comments? And seeing none, I'm going to move really quickly to the consent agenda. Uh, may I have a motion, please? Mr. Chair, I move adoption of the consent agenda as modified. Second. Motion by Mr. Albrecht, second by Mrs. Kiefer, that the school board of the city of Manassas approve the consent agenda as modified. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it, 7-0. Next up, discussion agenda. Finance and operations, FY 2020 draft budget development calendar, Mr. Hawkins. Good evening. Um, in your packet on the screen, you'll see uh, the upcoming uh, budget year uh, calendar. I know it seems like we haven't stopped dealing with the budget. We've been, <laughs> most of y'all have been through at all the meetings with the uh, Joint Finance Committee with City Council, and thank you for your support. Um, so we, we have some tentative dates there. We'd like for you to look at them and uh, review them, uh, uh, starting with the uh, beginning on October the 2nd with the capital improvement plan and continuing on. You'll see that in January um, we we have some TBDs there to be determined, and that's simply because we're waiting for the organizational meeting to happen with the school board. These dates that we have on the screen are, are similar to what, what we've had in the past. So if, if uh, school board members have problems or, or issues with this or would like to change some dates, uh, please uh, let me know so that we can come back with a revised sheet um, at the at the next school board meeting. So we'll place this on the action agenda for the next meeting. Uh, do you have any questions, concerns, comments? Comments, Mr. Albright? Just to comment, I said last night at the finance meeting, but I just want to let the whole board know um, two of the dates do cause me a conflict. October, I'll be at a professional conference, and November 13th, I'll be at VSBA kicking, kicking that off, even though it doesn't really start till Wednesday. Um, I think I can do enough homework, though, and pretty much have a flick on where the CIP is that I'm okay with that. With a little remediation from y'all catch me back up, I'll be fine. So we shouldn't change the schedule of the board just because I won't be there. Yeah, I mean, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. That's October the 2nd? Uh, correct. And the 20th? No, right. And November 13th, November right. 13th. Okay. okay. I have something, sir? Yes, sir. On the P TBDs, those are scheduled to be at our regular scheduled board meetings that we're waiting until our organizational meeting to once again approve our regular board meeting dates, correct? That's right, yes sir. So if we stay with our Tuesdays, those will be those regularly scheduled second and fourth Tuesdays, correct? Yes, but, yes, and but it's always at the discretion of the board to change those dates, right. so we've, we've left them. And we haven't done that for a hundred years. <coughs> um, so if we stay the same, then everybody can figure that out on other schedules that there will be the second and fourth Tuesday unless we change that, which I don't really see. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. And thank you, Andy, for all your work and you and Lee, the hours you put in, we appreciate it. Next up, action agenda, student services. Dr. Stone will present an overview of the changes to the 2018-19 student code of conduct. Chairman Williams, Dr. Newman, members of the board, just here to bring the student code of conduct back for the action agenda item. Um, we have not made any changes since the discussion agenda at the last board meeting. As a few reminders, we reformatted the entire document um, for clarity and ease of use as people go through this um, during the beginning of the school year. We've updated titles throughout many of the sections um, to more accurately reflect the information that is in that section of the code of conduct. Specifically in section nine pertaining to electronic equipment, cell phones and communication, we did add um, permitting cell phones on buses as well as putting bus uh, drivers as staff members who could create rules around the use of those devices on the bus. And then specifically under suspension procedures, we updated the language to reflect the recent changes um, in House Bill 296, which limits the suspension of preschool through third grade students to no more than three days. 
and House Bill 1600, which reduces the maximum length of a long-term suspension from 364 calendar days to 45 school days, unless there are aggravating circumstances um, or the offense is one involving seriously bodily injury or as described in Virginia Code 22.1-277.00 or 221.1-277.08. Thank you. <laughs> Go. May I have a motion? Mr. Chair, I move the School Board of the City of Manassas approve the proposed 2018 2019 stu student code of conduct as presented. Second. Motion by Mrs. Keeper, second by Mr. DeMaria, that the School Board of the City of Manassas approve the proposed 2018 2019 student code of conduct as presented. Is there any discussion? Let me two comments or a question, I guess, and a comment. I'm going to assume, since we just saw a pretty cover, they're already printed. No. So we've got a plan to get them printed in students' hands by the time school starts in a couple days? They actually go in our InfoSnap um, section for everyone to review that way. Um, and then we do have some copies at the school as well. Great. Thanks. Okay. My comment really is a poke at the General Assembly because of the changes you made. Mm -hmm. It's really unfortunate that our legislature seems destined to take the power of a local school board away and potentially put students at risk because they feel schools are doing the wrong thing by keeping disruptive and harmful children out of the academic environment. Absolutely. Um, he took away what I wanted to say, uh, but I want to make it clear that this board was represented in Richmond in January, and uh, Mr. O'Hanlon, Ms. Seberg, and myself visited the legislators and made it abundantly clear that local school boards should have the authority to um, discipline as seen fit by our administrators. It's nothing that this board knows that a kid should be suspended or uh, in school, whatever their um, uh, discipline would be, but that we trust our administrators to do it correctly. And if there's a problem that it would come to us, not to people in Richmond, you know, uh, 90 minutes away from us that don't know us or our schools or our children. So I agree with Mr. Albrecht on that. And it was expressed to our legislators that we didn't want that to pass. Thank, Thank you. you. Discussion? Seeing none, I'll read the motion again. A motion by Mrs. Kiefer, second by Mr. DeMaria, that the school board of the city of Manassas approve the proposed 2018-2019 student code of conduct as presented. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it, 7-0. And thank you very much, Dr. Stone, for the presentation and for the quick changes. All right, I'm just keep her sad about this, but um, I think we're done with the yeah. main agenda. So. Pretty disappointing. So, yeah. But Mr. Chair, I move the school board enter a closed session pursuant to exemptions from open meetings allowed by Section 2.2-3711, Part A, Paragraph 1 of the Code of Virginia, 1950, as amended for the following purposes. Discussion of personnel matters, PERS 1819-0061, 0080, and 0081. Second. Motion by Mrs. Keeper, second by Mr. O'Hanlon, that the School Board of the City of Manassas enter a closed session pursuant to exemptions from open meetings allowed by Section 2.2-377, Part A, Paragraph 1 of the Code of Virginia 1950 is amended for the following purposes. Section 2.2-3711. Discussion of the protection of the privacy of individuals and personnel matters not related to public business. PERS 1819-0061, 0080, and 0081. I'm all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it 7-0. We are in closed session. <laughs>